about to add my sixth grade class to my ArcGIS online account so they can start making their own maps from scratch and saving them. So I thought I, I would record the process. It's pretty quick. So I'm in my organization, as you can see here at the top of the screen. And now I'm here where it says members. And these are past students that I have here. Um, I'm going to go to invite members and add members and notify them via email. Go to next. Um, I could do new members from a file. I've done this in the past where I've made a spreadsheet of my students, but since I only have about 20 students to add today for this project, I'm just going to go one at a time. Now, um, my school has privacy rules um, around students' names. So instead of saying student as a first name and surname as a last name, we use um, an abbreviation system. So I try to respect that abbreviation system um, throughout the process so that I don't have the kid's identity shared anywhere. So this is essentially what a first and last name would look like. And the email address would look like Stu, Sue, and the year the student graduates. So uh, these kids are sixth graders, so that's going to be 22, 23 at this. Um, <clears throat> this is a creator role. And a creator role, if you click on it, um, it shows what other roles I have available, but it's um, as complex as I need it to be for these kids. And then I want the kid to be a publisher, meaning that they can publish their own maps. So now I can just click next, add another, and enter the next student. I don't find that to be um, problematic for a group like as small as 20 or 30. Um, Add-on licenses don't need any groups. I usually like to add them to a group for my class. Um, I'm going to do that here in just a moment. So I'll just show you. These are groups that I already have. These are past classes, right? Um, sometimes it's the name of the project they're mapping, a natural resources map, for example, and then I would add them to the correct group. So I will do that later. Um, as reaccess not needed, all the rest of this, I stay the same. And then here I am, I'm in the confirm and complete. The kid will get an email message. So I just changed that to Mrs. Sinclair has invited you to join this. And then in class, I'll have them open the email and set up their password, which of course is the only thing I can't do for them, which means that um, I have them write it down in their planners and save it as many places as I can have them save it so that I don't have to tell them their passwords every day. All right, that's basically how that works. I'm going to get to doing this with my actual students.